Amel 4330 Trace Analyzer is dedicated to the analysis of trace metals, anions, organic compounds or every electroactive chemical in a lot of different kind of samples. The system is based on the action of three electrodes. The reference electrode with a yellow wire, the working electrode with a black wire and the auxiliary electrode with a red wire. The scanning of the potential is performed between the working and the reference electrode, in condition of zero current. In the meanwhile, the current flow in the cell is measured between working and auxiliary electrode. Most of the voltammetric analyses are performed by using two different scanning techniques. In the first, the differential pulse scanning, the potential vary linearly, while an electric pulse is imposed at regular lapses, just as described on the graph. During each pulse, the capacitive current decreases by the time, while the faradic component almost remains constant. This is important because only the faradic current is proportional to the concentration of the analyte in the solution while the capacitive current is an interference that has to be eliminated or, at least, to be hardly lowered. While the potential of the working electrode changes, the current flowing in the cell is measured in two different moments, just immediately before the pulse starting and during the last lapses of the pulse. The difference between the two measures is plotted on the graph. At the end, a typical peak-shaped graph is shown on the PC. Current increases step by step while the scanning proceeds until the maximum value is reached. After this point, the current decreases. The height of the peak is proportional to the concentration of the analyte in the solution. The differential pulse scanning needs the following settings. The starting and ending potential, the range current, the speed of the scanning of potential, and the parameters of the pulse, time repetition, potential amplitude, time width, and the sampling time of the current, before and at the end of the pulse. The second most used technique is the square wave scanning. While the potential increases by steps of 2 to 5 millivolts at a constant speed on each steps, a square wave pulse is overlapped. The graph shows the run of the current during the application of the potential pulse. At the beginning, the capacitive current is high, then it decreases to a minimum value. The current is then sampled during the last lapses of the two halves of the square pulse and added to each other. In this way, a higher sensitivity is achieved, better than the one achieved with the differential pulse. Naturally, the redox couple involved on the analysis has to be reversible. Also in this technique, a peak-shaped graph is shown at the end of the scanning. The maximum peak is set in correspondence of discharge potential of the analyte, and the height is proportional to its concentration. The parameters used to perform a square wave scanning are starting and ending potential, the range current, the speed of the scanning of potential, and the parameters of the square pulse, potential amplitude, time width, height of the increment of the potential, and the sampling time of the current at the end of the two half pulses. In addition to the previous direct scanning techniques, the Armel 4330 allows you to perform the stripping voltammetry. In a first step, a pre-concentration potential is applied to the working electrode. For example, a reducing potential, in order to reduce a metallic ion to metal and to form an amalgam into the mercury drop. After this step, a scanning is performed, for example, on oxidant scanning, with differential pulses or with square waves. During the scanning, the usual peak-shaped graph is achieved. 
The technique allows you to realize higher sensitivity in respect of the direct scanning, only if the analytes can form amalgams or reversible reaction products with the mercury, or can be absorbed on the surface of the drop.